So there's a new conspiracy theory. Wonderful. We didn't have enough from the right wing. Uh, so Raw Story explains, conservatives including Sarah Palin are freaking out over reports of United Nations vehicles spotted on highways in Virginia and Kentucky. Oh my God. First of all, I don't know if they know this, we're in the United Nations. So if there was a UN vehicle in America, that would be fairly normal. In fact, the United Nations is literally headquartered, headquartered in America. <laughs> so it is maybe the most likely place you would find it, but that is, turns out not what's happening here. And uh, they're right, there were some UN vehicles in Virginia, and the UN headquarters is in New York, by the way. There was nothing in Kentucky, they're just usually <laughs> at least 50% wrong on everything, let alone their interpretations. But let's go to their interpretations. So a Facebook user posted photos Friday that show the white armored trucks, which were equipped with off-road tires, and wondered why they were in the United States. Oh my God, the UN's got vehicles here with off-road tires. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what that means. What, what, what difference does it make? Okay, all right. So terrified social media users noticed the vehicles apparently had bulletproof glass and were sealed against poisonous gas. Now, okay, that does sound a little bit more ominous than the off-road tires. What are you implying here? Are, are you thinking that the UN is going to come and release poison in Virginia and Kentucky and then be like, we are in UN, UN vehicles that the poison will not get into. Now begins the takeover. But by the way, they really do believe that's a possibility. They're lunatics on the right, lunatics. You really think the United Nations is going to what, take over the US? By the way, how many theories have you had? You had Agenda 21, you had Jade Helm 15, you had the, the camps that Glenn Beck kept talking about, the FEMA camps. Where are they? I don't know if you know this, Barack Obama, TikTok, running out of time. When is he going to unleash his secret conspiracy, whichever one it is? Remember, Louis Gorman thought that he was going to be uh, reinstituting the Ottoman Empire within the United States and doing a Muslim Brotherhood takeover. He's taken over the government. He's been president for seven years. When is the trap coming? Maybe this is it, though, because we have the UN vehicles inside America. Let's find out more. Um, the photos and reports have been widely shared, sparking conspiracy theories about an imminent UN takeover, similar to fears prompted last year by Jade Helm 15, a military training exercise that some worried would lead to martial law or even foreign invasion. Yet here we are, completely uninvaded. Hey, Alex Jones, Glenn Beck, all the other conservative morons, have you ever apologized to your audience for being completely and utterly wrong about every stupid conspiracy theory you've ever had? Where are the lizard people? Where are the hobbit homes? Where is Jade Helm 15, 16, or 17? Why hasn't the invasion happened already? Why hasn't the United Nations state, why hasn't Obama, the great devil, already handed us over to the Muslims or to the UN or to whoever he was going to hand us over to? Where is it? Okay, again, maybe, maybe, maybe this might be it though. Hold on, here we're getting near the end. A blogger at Liberty is Viral uh, writes in, are these UN troops here preparing for economic collapse in America? Is this related to Iran ships approaching the US border? Yeah, 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 yeah. Iran uh, is right outside our borders, man. It's not just the Mexicans anymore. Iran's about to take Baltimore. Okay, according to this theory, Iran, which has had many UN sanctions levied against it, is in cahoots with the United Nations. And they're like, okay, UN, it's time to go. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> okay. So now you can say, hey, Jen, come on now. These are just a bunch of idiot bloggers and stuff. No, Palin's involved. Palin, the former half-term governor of Alaska and failed Republican vice presidential candidate, suggested the trucks might be part of a plot by President Barack Obama to disarm Americans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're going to go off-road, do the poison. They're going to uh, disarm all of us, and then Iran invades, and then who could be this monumentally stupid? The answer is, unfortunately, a significant chunk of conservatives and official people inside the Republican Party. Ted Cruz used to write about the Hobbit homes. It was on his website. Oh, the UN's going to get us into Hobbit homes. And they're going to take over and force us into tiny little homes. Where are the Hobbit homes? Okay, finally, let's get to the reality. 
The rumor debunking website Snopes contacted Alpine Armoring, the manufacturer named in the Daily Mail report, and found the vehicles were made by American workers for the UN to use abroad. Oh, you see, they were being transported because we made them here, which is great. We made money off of it, people were employed because of it, and those dastardly UN vehicles, which by the way probably are going to go to save lives in other places in the world, and one of the things that the UN does is they go and help feed children, they feed refugees, save their lives, but then they never talk about that. They never talk about the reality of the United Nations, all they talk about is their conspiracy theories about how they're going to take over, right? And so, no, in reality, it turns out we made uh, the trucks for the UN, who we made a good profit off of it, and we're shipping them abroad. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, they got us. By the way, this is not the first time they've had even the, this same dumb theory. The similar sightings in October 2014 sparked fears of martial law or a UN takeover, which Snopes pointed out had not taken place. Which I'm sure the conservatives will now say, yeah, not yet. I just want to know, when are you guys going to admit how profoundly wrong and kind of stupid you are. When are you going to raise your hand and go, hey, none of those conspiracy theories turn out to be true. My bad. Turns out I was a fucking moron. I'm waiting for that memo from Glenn Beck, Alex Jones, Sarah Palin, Ted Cruz, and all the other idiot Republicans who believe in this crap.